Hey guys, this is going to be a bit of a different video. We talk a lot on this channel about games, but sometimes it's easy to forget that behind the games we love to play are dedicated people working tirelessly to craft these amazing experiences for us. And today, we'll be talking about those people, specifically the ones at Piranha Games, the Vancouver-based studio behind MechWarrior Online, the latest installment in the MechWarrior franchise. The game officially launched in 2013 and is still going strong with a passionate and active community. MechWarrior Online is a free-to-play tactical vehicular shooter with first-person and third-person modes, as well as support for 3D and virtual reality. In it, you take the controls of the ultimate war machine, known as a battle mech. They can tower over 20 meters tall and weigh as much as 100 tons. Teams of up to 12 pilots face each other in battle, but the most successful teams will be those that cooperate, coordinating the use of light, medium, heavy, and assault class mechs to outthink and outfight their opponents. Pilots can choose from an ever growing selection of battle mechs, customize that mech's firepower, speed, armor, heat dissipation, and even the paint job, then assess their loadout on the testing grounds before bringing it to the field. MechWare fans are unique, and I think that comes with how unique the game is itself. I mean, a lot of people um, might say, well, it's a giant robot game, so what do you think about this giant robot game or that giant robot game? And in truth, you know, MechWarrior fans hate the word giant robot game because that uh, means that you're not in control. Uh, players are in control of the mechs. And it's unlike anything else out there. Uh, there's no other game in the world that you can play that has the look and feel of a MechWarrior game. So. We know that in developing it and develop with confidence that we know that we have a very unique experience and there's nowhere else you can get this type of experience. So with that comes players that understand that and have a very unique set of wants and needs and desires and, and a very unique level of passion that you won't find anywhere else. Now, in case you're unfamiliar, MechWarrior is part of the Battletech franchise, which has spawned tons of video games, tabletop RPGs, novels, and even an animated series. The Battletech universe is one of constant war. In the future, humanity expanded into the stars and colonized an area of the galaxy surrounding Earth called the Inner Sphere. Major factions called Houses were formed and were united under the banner of the Star League, ushering in a golden age of prosperity. Soon, however, the Star League descended into war, as each house sought power for itself. After decades of conflict, unwilling to be mere pawns in the hands of the successor state's warmongering rulers, the majority of the Star League Defense Force left the war-torn inner sphere for an unknown star system, only to return 300 years later reformed as the clans. Their goal, take back Earth and rebuild the Star League, utilizing superior technology, training, and tactics developed by their warrior tribe society. MechWarrior Online takes place within this time frame. So the experience of being a mech warrior or a mech a pilot in mech warrior is a pretty surreal one. You're strapped with weapons and armor and you're going out into this battle and you don't know where the enemy is going to be and you're kind of like hunting for the enemy at the same time trying to hide. So you're like cresting hills and looking around and your teammates are looking too and then someone spots something and you hear them over voice comms and the next thing you know all hell breaks loose and there's missiles raining down, there's ballistics over here, lasers blasting past your face and sometimes they explode and sometimes you explode but it's very very fun and it's a lot of good times to have with your friends. Yeah, that's what it's like. <laughs> So the different kind of maps that are in MechWarrior Online, we have some that are set in like cities, and there's others that are set on like volcano planets, and then there's some that are also set on like big deserts, and then other ones are in like tundras and like frozen mountains. So it's like each map is almost like a different planet in a whole new environment that the players can play around in, and there's, there's like temperatures and stuff like that that affect each map as well. Now as for the MechWarrior series, it has a rich history in video games. It all started with Crescent Hawk's Inception and its sequel, Crescent Hawk's Revenge. The first cockpit simulator style MechWarrior 1 launched in 1989. Then came MechWarrior 2, followed by an expansion, Ghost Bear Legacy, and the hugely popular Mercenaries, which had a branching campaign, one of the first in its time. In 1999, we had MechWarrior 3, followed by the Pirate's Moon expansion. It was at that point that Microsoft acquired the franchise and released MechWarrior 4 in 2000. This was followed by Mercenaries, which followed the same branching campaign concept of MechWarrior 2 Mercenaries. In 2002, the third-person arcade-style Mech Assault was released for Xbox with the sequel Lone Wolf in 2004. Which means 2013's release of MechWarrior Online was the first official franchise game released in nearly a decade. I think our story, or at least 
for our studio and for myself, it's not a very unique story. It's kind of like the same thing that most of our players experience, at least those that uh, grew up with the brand for a long time. I grew up with it since the mid 80s and absorbed everything there was to do with Battletech and MechWarrior. And it just, I guess, so happens that my career choice as I grew up became a, a game developer. So I had an opportunity to maybe stay involved or try to stay involved in it. So, you know, we, we tried to, you know, look after the MechWarrior brand so many times over the years and it finally became a possibility and, well, officially in 2011 when we uh, were able to start development on MechWarrior Online. MechWarrior Online has been uh, created as a 12v12 multiplayer online mech first person shooter game. We went with a original 8v8 system, which was kind of not in line with what Lore is. Lore used to have what the Inner Sphere would call a lance, which is four mechs. We wanted to put three lances, so that's 12 players, into the game, which is a company of mechs. The process of crafting such a rich combat simulator experience falls to those people we talked about earlier, the developers and artists at Piranha Games, or PGI. Oh, my name's Alex. I do the concept art for MechWarrior Online. Been drawn mech since 2012 for this project. Yeah, that's sort of what I do. I do mechs. Lots and lots and lots of mechs. My concepts then later go to the mech modelers and they take my concepts and turn them into 3D and then that later goes to the texturing team and the animation team and goes on and branches out from there. Hi, I'm Mark Nicholson. I'm a mech modeler here at Piranha Games. Uh, when we build a mech, uh, usually I'll get uh, the concept art and orthos from our concept artist and I will block it out uh, and then build a high poly model to bake normal map details from it, and then build a low poly model that will then go into the game. What's your favorite thing about Mech Warrior? My favorite thing about Mech Warrior is watching giant robots blow each other up. Ex huge explosions and melting armor and lasers everywhere. My name is Lauren Bamlett, and I am a texture artist here at Piranha Games. Uh, primarily what that means is that I will generate the mech materials and the camo patterns once the mech has been fully 3D modeled. Uh, and what that typically entails is just kind of making the steel look like steel, gunmetal like gunmetal, but I will then go in and hand paint a number of the patterns that we have available. So as you can see, there are a lot of parts that must come together to make MechWarrior Online and any online game what it is. Piranha Games is dedicated to continually creating new experiences online for its users. One way they're doing this is by having the MechWarrior Online World Championships. Teams from around the globe are competing for their spot in the World Finals, which will be held at the first ever MechCon on December 3rd in Vancouver. MechCon is the culmination of the amazing work that PGI has done to bring the MechWarrior franchise back to life. Uh, we were in a situation where we, we had a game that wasn't necessarily it was never necessarily a goal to become an esports game. Uh, we wanted to be a really good online game, online competitive game. But we also found that naturally through our community there was lots of tournaments being set up, player run tournaments. And we had a game that spectated very well and really lent itself to um, online competition and, and esports. So we've been trying to find ways to give more and more attention to that growing industry and growing desire from our players to be involved in esports. And so we've had a few tournaments over the years, some things that are a little more, I guess you'd say, um, unofficial or more casual in nature. But um, this year we finally were able to launch uh, the first you know, professional tournament, Mech Online World Championships, have a, a large cash prize pool. And uh, it's all gonna culminate this uh, December in the first ever MechCon here in Vancouver. So it's going to be a great time. We hope to have uh, many hundreds of even up to a thousand people at a large facility and we're going to watch the World Championships play out and many other events. Uh, so it's going to be a great time. I hope everybody in Vancouver and all around the world can come and join us at MechCon. Now, as a celebration of their work and this video, PGI has added an exclusive mech package to the game for those of you who watched this. And yes, this video was so long I grew a beard during the course of it. The mech is a custom Centurion class with a unique NCIX themed paint job that also comes with a 30% C-bill boost and an additional mech bay. Not too shabby. 
To claim this in-game content, all you gotta do is click the link in the description, and it'll be available to redeem until January 1st. But in addition to that free mech, PGI is also giving away two free tickets to MechCon, and six different special mech packs. So one person wins the two tickets, and then six other people win the mech packs. There's also a link in the description for that, so make sure you click that to find out how to enter to win. We hope you enjoy your custom mech, and if you want to party with the good folks at PGI and us, because we're going to be there uh, filming stuff, I think, uh, check out the Mech Warrior World Championship Grand Finals, try out a build of the upcoming Battletech game from Harebrained Schemes, and much more. There will also be a link in the description to buy tickets for MechCon. So. One link in the description to claim your free NCIX mech, one link to enter to win MechCon tickets and or one of six mech packages, and one link with general info about MechCon. Make sense? Three links. Okay. All right, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. This was a special video to produce, so let us know in the comments what you thought. I mean, maybe we want to make more content like this in the future, kind of documentary style. Who knows? Uh, click here for more videos. Uh, that we've done previously. Uh, click here to follow us on Twitter, and uh, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a, have a, have a, have a good one.